welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing a full face of dupes. So I'm gonna do one side of my makeup using all drugstore and affordable products. And then on the other side, we're gonna go in with all high-end makeup. I have tried the majority of these dupes, but I haven't necessarily put them all side by side. So we're gonna do a full day wear test and I'll let you guys know how everything wears and we'll see if we have some good dupes on our hands. But I think we do. Like I already know that there's a lot of things here that I prefer at the drugstore over the high-end makeup, but I'm excited to see all of this come together. So make sure you guys grab a snack get cozy and grab your makeup and your brushes so we can get ready together and let's have some girl time so brows are done lids are primed and I'm gonna start off with an eyebrow dupe so for the high-end side I have the sketch and set from Tarte and a really great dupe for this is the Oma Beauty two-in-one brow styler same exact kind of concept with this you get a brow pencil on one side and then you get a tinted brow gel on the other the shades of these are a little bit different I will say I do like the variety that the Tarte brow pencil does have I think they have a little bit better undertones versus the ones from Oma Beauty but if you can find your shade from Oma Beauty I think it's a really great alternative to the Tarte Sketch and Set. I personally really love the formula of both the brow pencil and the brow gel. The brow gel brushes are a little bit different on both. The one from Tarte is slightly longer than the one from Oma Beauty as you can see but like they're both super tiny and they're going to give you the same effect on your eyebrows whether you outline or fill them in. It's a really great pencil so I figured I would mention because I absolutely love the one from Oma Beauty, but the Tarte one is really nice and they do have some good shades. Now for eyeshadows, for the high-end palette, I have the Supreme Nudes from Artist Couture. I actually really love this palette. It is so beautiful and the formula of these is great and these tones. You guys know these are my tones so if you're into these earthy green tones you're gonna love the time to shine palette from moira i know they're not exactly the same but again they are a little bit similar in tones and i think we can make an eyeshadow look work and make them look pretty identical hopefully and if you guys have never tried moira eyeshadows you need to they have really great makeup products in general they kind of remind me a little bit of bh cosmetics so i'm going to start off with this color from the artist couture palette and i'm just going to pop that in the crease and p.s i'm going to use different brushes on each side of my face and i just cleaned all of my makeup brushes so i'm like breaking them in for the very first time right now on camera and then in the moira palette i'm going to go in with the muted brown right in the center Right, then I'm gonna go into the color aesthetic and let me see, I think I'm gonna mix in just a little bit of this shade as well. And then on the other side, I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade right here. I feel like this color is similar to the other two from the Artist Couture palette, kind of mixed a little bit. I literally always say this, but whenever I am using new makeup brushes, I feel like my makeup never looks as good as it does when my brushes are super dirty. Then I'm gonna go in with that beautiful green. This is one of my favorite green shimmery colors, and this one is in Supreme. This color is so pretty. It's green, but it has a bunch of gold glitter in it. It's gorgeous. Then on the other side, I'm going to take a different brush and the greens are a little bit different, but I'm going to make it work here. Let's see. I think I'm going to take this color. Wait, I have an idea to kind of make this look sort of like this. Hold on. I think I know what to do. I'm going to take a little bit of this green right here and I'm going to start applying that on my lid area with a fluffy brush. Just working that in the center portion. I'm doing this pretty lightly. I just want to kind of fluff that color on my lid to have a base because I'm going to use the other green shimmers in here, but they're kind of like a green gold. So I want to have that green base down that way or green eyeshadow that way it kind of matches this eye a little bit more. I kind of just thought of that on the spot, but yeah, I think this is going to work. Because the goal with these videos is always to make both sides look as close to each other as possible. And it is a little bit of a challenge, but that's like what makes these videos fun and like that's kind of the point of dupes is just trying to find alternatives to some of our favorite tie-in products. Now I'm going to go in with my brush and I think honestly both of these look super similar but I'm going to take the color up top which is all good. And to spray I'm going to use the Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist from e.l.f. And now I'm going to pop that all over the lid. So it's actually a little bit lighter than the one from Artist Couture, but I think I know what to do on the other side. On the high-end side, I'm gonna take some of the color Lavish with the same brush that I was using to apply the green, 
And I'm just gonna add that right over the green to lighten this up just a little bit and hopefully sort of make it match the other eye. I'm actually gonna spray my brush once again just to really make that stick and pop. It always helps. Do you see, we make it work. Always make it work. The same brush that I was using earlier, I'm gonna dip into that brown and I'm just gonna add that on the outer lid just a little bit. I love the way darker colors look against the green. It just makes it pop so much. I'm actually gonna use a different brush and I'm just gonna pack that color on just on the outer lid. Smoking this out. And then in the Moira palette, I'm gonna take that chocolate brown and I'm gonna add that on the outer lid. These are so pigmented, it's insane. So lately I've been really into glitter and topping it over any eyeshadow look just to add a little extra pop. And I've been really loving the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow, specifically the color Ray. It is my absolute favorite. It's such a gorgeous glittery brown. It's beautiful topped on its own or just over any eyeshadow. So I'm gonna add this right to the center and a really good dupe that I found, which I actually haven't tried them side by side, but I tried these and I really loved them. And they're from Moira and they're the Star Show Shadow Pots. And I have this one in the color Muse. This is what it looks like. I think the colors are gonna be a little bit different. So this is Moira, and then this one is the Hourglass one. So yeah, the undertones are going to be different, but you can see even the way that they look in the pot, super similar. So I'm gonna start off actually with the color Muse on the drugstore side. I'm just adding that right here. It adds such a pretty, sparkly, glittery touch. These are beautiful. Oh, actually, I think I think it's going to be fine, both of the colors. I thought the shades were going to be totally off, but I feel like over the green, you can't really tell a huge difference between the two. But do you see that light glitter? I feel like they're so much prettier in person, honestly, but it's gorgeous. And I love the fact that there's a little bit of pigment with these, but you also get that really pretty glitter touch. So I think the Moira ones are actually, a now that I have them side by side, a really great alternative i think the colors might be a little bit different than what hourglass has but look at how gorgeous that is now for mascara for the high-end side i have the thrive cosmetics liquid lash extensions mascara i have used this a couple years ago actually and i just repurchased it the packaging feels really nice and heavy and this one's in the color brin which is just the black color so let's go in and do a couple coats i'm probably going to just do two coats I remember this mascara being really lengthening and I can actually see that right now. The formula is not too wet, it's not too dry, it's kind of medium. But yeah, that actually looks really good. Lots of length, lots of separation. Now for the dupe, I have been loving the highly rated lash extensions from Milani. Let's compare the wands really quick because these are both tubing mascaras. Honestly, super similar. I'm like looking at both trying to find a big difference between the two and I really don't see that. They look almost identical. This Milani mascara has been my fave because it does add also some really good length and separation. Works great for both the top and lower lashes, but I will say though, if you're looking for a curl, this mascara is not it. It's really just more so length and separation, but honestly, it looks so good. And compared to the one from Thrive Cosmetics, they both give me the same effect, to be honest. Yeah, this I think is a really nice dupe. I mean, I don't really notice a huge difference. I'm gonna see how they apply on my lower lashes later on and we'll see how these wear, but I really love the Milani mascara. I'm gonna put on some false lashes. I think I'm gonna use these from AF94. They're the false advertising high volume lashes. So now for the complexion, I'm gonna start off with some setting spray. I always like to do some sort of mist before I go in with my other primers and foundation. So for the high-end side, I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is a classic, so many people love this, and I think it's a good setting spray, but it's personally not one of my favorites. But I wanted to compare this with another e.l.f. setting spray that I have here because I saw it on TikTok. TikTok that apparently this is, is spot on, if not even a better dupe than the All Nighter from Urban Decay. And I have tried this one from e.l.f. and before, and I actually do really like it, but I did forget about it for a little bit. So I also recently just repurchased it and it is really nice, but let's go in with All Nighter on this side first. And then the Stay All Night Micro Fine Mist on the other side from e.l.f. Once that has settled in a little bit, I will go in with some primer. For the high-end side, I have the Glow Screen from Super Goop. I have recently just tested this out, and this is so pretty. I do go in, by the way, with my own separate 
SPF beforehand. And I like to apply this with a brush. This one is the Pinnacle Skin from Anissa Beauty. So this is a really pretty product. It makes your skin look super glowy. It's also hydrating. It's just like a nice glowy base under any foundation. But I don't know if you guys have seen, I'm sure you have. Elf dropped the Sun Touchable Woe Glow. This has SPF 30 in it, so not identical as far as the SPF, like the one from Supergoop. This one has SPF 40, but still a really great alternative. It gives the same beautiful, glowy, hydrating effect, and I just cannot stop using this. And I'm gonna use another brush on the other side and just blend this in. You see how pretty it also gives very similar glowy effect. To be honest, I think this is a spot on dupe. I don't really see a huge difference when I apply this. And for me, this doesn't pill or anything. I think it depends what products you use underneath. I typically always use the Honest Beauty Hydro Gel Cream and then some sort of vitamin C before that. And personally, I can't really tell a difference between the two. So I think this is definitely a spot on dupe. I love it. So this is it for the base. And I wanted to go really glowy today because we're going to use a matte foundation. So for the high end side, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. This got me through my senior year of college this is one of my favorite foundations i feel like my skin used to be a lot more oily so i would go for more matte foundations like this but it is very long lasting has great coverage but it's definitely matte this is a beautiful foundation though i really really like it, it has great coverage beautiful shade range i mean it's a bomb foundation i'm going to use my anisa beauty pinnacle foundation brush Now for the other side, I'm going to use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation, and I have this one in the color 03 Light Beige. So this foundation, I found that it actually wears really nicely on my skin when it's really dewy because it is such a matte foundation. I prefer it over dewier products, but it's actually very long-lasting, and I was never a huge fan of this foundation, but it's really starting to grow on me lately, and I think it's just because of my skin prep. So I'm going to use a clean brush. This is the same Anissa Beauty Brush, just a fresh one. I have so many of these. It's literally my favorite foundation brush. This foundation from Milani also is supposed to give like medium to full coverage, soft matte finish, and for a drugstore foundation, I think the shade range is great. I believe it comes in 45 different shades, which makes me so happy. But looking at these both side by side, they look pretty. And I wonder if you guys can see how textured my skin is right now. I tried out this new skincare product yesterday and it gave me little tiny bumps all over my face. But as far as the coverage, I do think both foundations look pretty good. Now for concealer, I actually really like this dupe. And I first came across this dupe from another creator, Magdalene Janet. I will leave her channel down below. If you guys want reviews on all the new makeup releases, go check out her channel. She is so on point and she literally reviews all of the new makeup. So go show her some love. But she did a video and actually a wear test with this dupe a few months back. And I tried it out and I thought it was pretty spot on. So for the high end side, I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Light Concealer. And I have this one in the color Pecan. And then for the drugstore side, I have the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I love the coverage on both of these, but I really love how hydrating they are. And I find both of these to wear so nicely on my under eyes, but they also give beautiful coverage. So let's start off with Too Faced. And then on the other side, we're going to go in with the NYX, and this one is in the color Vanilla. And I'm going to do just a tiny little pump of this on the back of my hand because this is such a pigmented concealer, a little bit goes a long way. And I'm using my Anissa Beauty Angled Concealer Brush. I actually am probably gonna add a little bit more of the Too Faced one just because I feel like I added more of the NYX one on this side. So I wanna make both sides even. I think they both give such beautiful coverage, but you can see kind of that hydrated, very glowy under eyes. So if you have dry under eyes, I think both of these concealer formulas you would love. They're so pretty. The NYX one is a great option because sometimes you can even use that as foundation because it does have such nice coverage and it's kind of like makeup and skincare mixed in one. So it's a really great drugstore concealer option, but I also do really like the one from Too Faced as well. So I think both great options, but I do think that the NYX one is a nice dupe for it. For blush, I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the shade Happy. I don't think I've ever tried this color i'm pretty sure no i love the color bliss that's my all-time favorite shade but this is like a really pretty pink i'm gonna use just that much because you guys know these are so pigmented and i feel like that is even too much 
but this is a really pretty pink. No, actually, I don't think I've tried this color before. I love the Rare Beauty blushes. I mean, I'll never get over these. They're definitely, I will say, a good splurge item, but I don't know why. Every single time I use way too much and I'm like, I didn't need that much. And I know that I don't, but I always still overdo it. But it's a great blush. It is so pigmented very long lasting and i think it's a nice layering color so if you ever struggle with your powder blushes fading throughout the day i recommend using a liquid or cream underneath it'll just make it last so much longer but that's really pretty and for the dupe side i have the elf putty blush in the shade bora bora so not identical i think the undertones are slightly different but if you want a pink cheek bora bora from elf is a beautiful option Yeah, that's pretty. I think this one is a little bit brighter just because, again, the undertones are slightly different. I feel like this one from Rare Beauty has a slight, like, very slight kind of corally base, whereas the one from e.l.f. is definitely much more of, like, a pinky base. Now for contour. I really like this dupe. I think it's such a good option. So for the high-end liquid contour, I'm sure you guys have seen these everywhere. We have the very famous Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. I really like this one in the color Fair Medium. Very horrible packaging, but I actually love the product. It's Itself. And the sculpt tape from Tarte is pretty much honestly almost identical to this. The only thing is the undertones and shades that they have are different. But basically, you guys know, this is going to give you a little chisel. It's going to be a nice little liquid contour moment. I'm going to use the same brush on this side to blend that out. But I really love how seamless this product is. And I think it gives a really pretty bronzy touch. It gives me some nice color payoff. And now for the drugstore side, I really love the Milani Liquid Contour in the shade 01 Honey. This is so blendable. I am still not over the formula of this. This is a really great alternative. Honestly, even though the formulas are not identical, I think I may prefer this color. It's a little bit warm. It's a little bit cool at the same time. And it just gives the prettiest, very similar kind of bronziness. But this is 10 bucks. There's more shades. It's so creamy. It's so blendable. And it just gives the prettiest wash of color. So yeah, I really don't see a difference between these two. Honestly, at the end of the day, when you blend them out, they're going to look basically like the same exact product on both sides so i would say if i were you get the liquid contour from milani it's so good i don't think that the charlotte tilbury one is a bad product i actually really like this but if you don't want to splurge the milani one i would say definitely you cannot go wrong with it and it comes in more shades as well so we love that so as far as powder i don't have an exact dupe like side by side so i'm just going to use my regular powder that i have been using that is completely transparent so it's not going to alter the color or the finish of my foundation or anything so this is the makeup revolution IRL filter finish powder. I have been loving this. You get a pressed powder on one side and then a loose on the other. And I'm going to start with the pressed powder first. And then I'm going to use the loose powder. I'm going to just go over everything once more. And this is a Rose and Ben powder puff. It's so soft. And then for the eyes, I don't know if I'm really going to add any eyeshadow on my lower lashes. I might just leave it bare. So I'm going to just take the Thrive Cosmetics mascara. This has a really nice wand, I will say, but it is basically identical honestly or i should say the milani one is identical to this one but this does add some really nice length to the lashes now milani on the other side i really like both i honestly can't really tell a difference for my waterline i decided to go in with a nude pencil this one is from melt it's the slick waterline eye pencil and it's just a nude eye coal super creamy but the dupe that i have is under five dollars and it's one of my all-time favorites i just want to add a little something to the waterline and nude liner is always such a pretty touch. And then for the dupe, I have the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Silky Nude. This is the best nude waterline pencil. It is so creamy. It's literally $4. I love it. I will say, actually, now that I look at them, the one from Melt is definitely a little bit more nude, whereas the one from Essence has a little bit more of a cream base. So it's appears a little bit brighter on the eyes as you can see but this is four dollars and it's so good now for lips i'm super excited about this dupe i really really like both of these so for the high end side i'm going to use the fenty cream gloss bomb and this is one of my all-time favorite colors in mauve wives and then for the dupe i have the nyx this is milky gloss in the shade cherry skimmed if you have not tried these you need to they give you the most beautiful pigment on the lips but they're also very glossy not sticky and they come in like a ton of different shades but let's start off with Fenty first. I know this doesn't really match by the way, but I love the color, whatever. 
it's like a mauvey pink so beautiful and then on the other side we're going to go in with nyx the one from fenty has a slight maybe more like purpley kind of undertone to it and the one from nyx is definitely a little bit more of a pinky but i really like both of these formulas though because they're so smooth and i love that color payoff one of my favorite lip liners is from rare beauty so i'm going to use this just to kind of emphasize the lips a little bit more the lip liner just makes any lip color look so much better and this one by the way is in the color wise i know this is rare beauty so technically it's high end but these are 15 dollars, and they're so long lasting you don't have to worry about sharpening them you just twist them at the top and this color wise works with so many of my favorite lip colors so i want to add a little bit of extra blush and then we'll be all done with this look for the high end side i have the cheek to chic blush from charlotte soberry in the color love is the drug this is a beautiful pink and i love these blushes they go on really smooth on the skin they're very pigmented and long lasting so i like to start in the center and then just swirl my brush around the rest of the blush and i'm just going to use this to emphasize the liquid blush that i have underneath it's a gorgeous pink and for the drugstore side i have the covergirl high pigment blush in the shade love me this also has a slight luminosity to it so it has this really pretty golden very natural sheen to it that's really pretty now i've only ever swatched this next to the charlotte tilbury one so let's see how it looks on the cheeks There's a slight glow to the one from Charlotte Tilbury as well. So that's why I feel like this one from CoverGirl is such a nice alternative to it because it's going to give you that pink cheek but with a really light satin finish. And now for setting spray, I'm going to go ahead and set with the Urban Decay All Nighter. And then e.l.f. on the other side. I am so happy with this dupes video, you guys. This is one of my all-time favorites. I feel like everything looks pretty almost identical. There's so many great products in today's video. And let me just say also that I love the high-end products and the drugstore products. There are certain drugstore things that I do prefer over high-end. For instance, like the setting spray. I think this is a really great dupe for the high-end one. And then same with the sunscreen. I feel like I like the e.l.f. Woe Glow more than the glow screen from Supergoop. Liquid contour, such a great alternative. Also the Milani one, it's so good. The foundation looks really good, especially side by side with the Fenty one. I am very impressed with it and I'm actually really loving that Milani foundation, like I said, more now with my glowy skin prep. Both of the concealers look awesome. To be honest, I don't really see much of a difference. I mean, there's slight differences of undertones, like with the blush and the lip color, but I really also love the lip combo dupe. So pretty. It's such a nice, like, pinky, mauve gloss. I think it's going to look good on a lot of different skin tones, honestly. The eyeshadow, double thumbs up. I mean, if you guys have not tried Moira eyeshadows, you will not be disappointed. And I'm really loving this blush might be a little bit more kind of light and toned down but you can build these up and these come in a ton of different colors mascara definitely a great dupe i'll let you guys know how this does wear throughout the day i'll keep you posted and i'll probably maybe pop in a little b-roll shot of me at the end of the day wearing all of the products but i'm very happy with the way everything looks right now and i'm curious to hear what you guys think let me know if you guys have any dupes that you love please let us know down below in the comments i will definitely continue to do more of these kinds of videos because it's really fun to kind of experiment and see see what's worth it what's not what's worth splurging over and what's not but yeah there's a lot of good stuff in today's video please do not forget to subscribe for new videos every week and if you love the dupes and the drugstore content there is much more to come so stay tuned thank you guys for being here i love you all and i'll see you very soon in my next video bye so i wanted to show you guys a little more of an up close shot of the makeup so we can see the dupes i really like both sides to be honest i will say the blush on the high end side looks a little bit more smooth and vibrant but don't get me wrong i love the drugstore blushes i probably just could have added more to make them look a little bit more vibrant on the drugstore side but regardless i still think this is a really good full face of dupes you can see here also in natural light the blushes you can see it's definitely a little bit more subtle on the drugstore side but yeah this was after a few hours i just ate here and i ended up reapplying the lip color but yeah overall love a lot of these products you can't go wrong so let me know your thoughts down below and i'll see you guys very soon in my next one i'm officially closing out the video <laughs> bye